Hello everybody, welcome back. And it's time to test my knowledge. Capital Landell, there's a lot of stuff here. And we're gonna find all of it, I promise. In any case, you might notice that Bok has followed us here and he's asking us to get some new stuff. I have never really been bothered about progressing his quest line. All he really does is change your clothing and um, the, like by the time you finish this quest, he just ends up in a position that's just not all that convenient. So you might as well just keep him somewhere that's useful to you. Um, oh, it happens to have changed the nighttime for me. Well, that's not going to be a problem. So we've got these guys here. These are aggressive, so we don't have the option of leaving them alive. We can one-shot them, which I didn't realize. That's rather nice. Unless they detect me. We can get them before they detect me. The sneak bonus does one-shot them. That's rather nice to know. Okay. We have a bigger one here. We need to be careful of this. And then down the way we have one of the immobile gargoyles that we are already uh, somewhat familiar with. I don't know if this one's supposed to be like a trap or you're not supposed to expect it, but we're not going to be uh, foolish enough to just go running into it. Uh, I believe that roll can be an attack, so don't let it roll into you. It can do damage. Now that we've dealt with this upper area then, we're going to go back towards where this wall is. And we're going to take a left. There's going to be a page in this room, so we do need to be careful. Where are you? I know you're in here. Ah, oh. <laughs> you heard me. It's fine. We'll chop you down. Smithing stone four. Okay. Oh. Just gonna say, it might look tempting to jump off there right now. I'm pretty sure it's basically death, so we're not gonna be not gonna be doing that right now. Although we can drop off just there. Whoops. Yes. Fine. Deal with all of you. Uh, do we want to do that now? There's so much to get in this game. <clears throat> Most of the stuff on top of there is consumable, so I don't think it's too essential. But we do want to clear it. Damn it! I tried some times, but then it didn't quite work. I think I ran, must have run out of stamina or something. Oh, get off! I'm trying to get the correct spell ready. Do you mind, you mean... SOB. Let's switch to healing. And as you'll notice as we're going through here, enemies are going to be doing significantly more damage. So. I do need to be taking care of that, to be honest. I don't think we do want to do this drop off yet. We'll we'll wait. Um, if we have to come back up here for it in a bit, so be it. But we want to make sure we clear everything. So let's just let's do that. It's just because that series of drop offs will um, take us to a completely different area to to go to the next part. So we'll keep it, keep it as it is. This area is bound to be multiple episodes, by the way. Um, there's a lot in here. Don't be fooled by how tightly packed the map looks. Um, this place is very multi-layered. <clears throat> so expect several parts for the uh, the Lindell capital. We got up to the top right now, though. I can't remember what's up here. I think there's a talisman up here. I always want to call them rings. I see bed curse. Cool. I didn't realise there was one up here. Eh. We'll have another one soon enough. That allows us to get the key from uh, Dung Eater, which we need. But we'll save that for his quests specifically. Or 
perfume bottles. We don't want to be forgetting those. Uh, so, from here... Could have been two hits instead of one, instead of three. Just poke everything. I wonder if you could jump over there. I bet you could. Interesting shortcut. If you're trying to speedrun, there's some interesting areas you could probably get to kind of early here. That's not what we're about right now. Common shoes. Hey. <laughs> No, no. There we are. Deals with the balcony. Is that where we, that is where we were? Cool. We can take a quick shortcut back then. Enemy down there. Don't be fooled. It can get us with its lightning. So. Uh, if you're going to start a fight with it, make sure you finish it off. <clears throat> but getting it from here just means you don't have to deal with it in a second. And it should be a matter of... I don't want any... Any surprises or anything following me. And we've got multiple ways out of this part. They all kind of lead to the same place, but I'll show them all anyway. This is the least reversible. So jumping off where we are right now will uh, is actually the quickest way to the next grace. So you should be able to jump over this. Um, I can't remember if there's a dog or something down there, but you should be able to jump over this, and that's going to take you to the grace. You guys will see in a minute, but we want to clear everything else out first. <coughs> Sorry guys, just my throat is uh, right now, I don't know why. <clears throat> uh, we then have another kind of easier route here. And I say kind of easier because it does have one of these. Oh, no, it's going to finish me. Stop it. The roll catching me to pieces there. Um, so mostly easier, and if you turn right here now, you'll see that we're at the area where we dropped this guy. He does have a friend, so you have to be careful if you do come around here without taking him out first. Oh, I thought there was loot in the corner, but I guess not. Some kind of lore thing. I don't understand why stuff is waxed into the houses. Maybe if somebody is like kind of up onto the lore, they can tell me why <clears throat> that would be. Because I just don't know. Oh man, my throat is really betraying me. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so we got a rather nasty room here, which is why it is probably better not to mess with all of this. However, we can cheese stuff through walls. Which is all it's... Oh, you think it... That's mega annoying. Stop it. Need to wait for the uh, the golden things to stop. That's you down. Sure to finish you now. Alright, let's target it. Okay, thank you very much. So we've, we've killed a lot of enemies there. Probably more than we needed to. Um... Technically, but we do need to clear everything out. So, warming stones is good, extra healing. I really do need to start having those on my heart bar so we can start using them more often. Especially now we can craft them as well. <clears throat> uh, so, this way, nope. They're basically this game's version of Life Gems. Not quite as strong as Life Gems, but interesting to think about. I'm sure this dog's down one of these alleyways, so we need to be careful. Oh, wrong one. Oh, no, I'm doing. Oh, now I've aggroed him early. He's gonna lightning blast me. 
so much stamina. That went way smoother than it had his new business going. Let's continue on down. Uh, what are we on? 10 minutes. So let's grab the grace first. Means there is only one enemy between us and the grace, and once that's gone, it really isn't going to go back, so. This is really the only thing guarding it. There's not actually a guard there, we can go straight past. So we're just going to head straight through here. There's really no reason to take a risk finding that thing. Um, so yep, yeah, we're going to go ahead and rest of this. Might as well use my runes up as well while we're here. Uh, mine, it's got to be mine. It's got to be. I need, I need that FP, I keep running out. I'm running out so fast. So, so, so fast. Right, it's going to get high here. It's going to appear again. Might as well use your physic. Get summon. Oh, get summon Lootle as well. I didn't even think we could do that, but okay. This fight just became too easy. <laughs> Hate to say that, but it's true. Diagnose the Guardian. Maybe Little's gonna go with it as well. Lord's Rune, for you guys to use, not me. So now there's gonna to be tons, this is why I thought there was Dogslot. Now there's gonna to be tons of little nooks and crannies. Um, just to kind of explore along here. Ooh. Oh man. Calm yourselves. So was that the jump? Was I right about the being dogs? No. There is it. So does it bring you out here? No, that's where we came down. I can't see where that jump exactly brings us down, did I so Oh, it's this way. Yes, yeah, so that's the jump I was talking about. Look. So you jump over there, come out. I was right, there were three dogs down there. Ha ha. <laughs> I feel justified. Um, so from here, loads of directions we can go in. Um, there is a set of steps over this way. I think that's an upgrade stone. There is a lot of knights over there. Not too bothered about that right now. What we are going to do is we're going to rest just so that I can get my physic back because we have a crucible knight to defeat so that we can use a shortcut. That's going to be handy. 38k. That we need like 70 now, 74 per level. Whew, it's getting expensive. Even the big dragon we can farm, that's like one or two kills now per level if you wanted to really farm levels out. I mean, there's loads of runes everywhere, I suppose. But it's even, expensive, even more expensive. Anybody that's used all these runes to level will be on a considerably higher number than me. Maybe, maybe six levels, probably. Cool, so make sure you pop this and you're ready for a fight here. This guy does hurt. I am aggressive and you will die. So I'm just saying, that damage though, yes, it's going to be higher when we get more FP. <laughs> it's going to be better. We're not done yet. We could do the ice stuff. I don't know how good ice is, though. Mm. There's some testing to be done. Maybe I'll do a testing live stream. We'll have just like an hour of me messing around with the stuff that we have available. So here we are, back at the top. Which should be a good cue for us to actually do the drop-off that I was talking about earlier. Accidentally perfect, see? Or as my kids call it, YouTubers look. Whenever we're playing like Minecraft together, they're like, Hey, how can we always find the good stuff? That's because you're a YouTuber. And I'm like, no, I'm just lucky. I get these down. Where are you? Get you down. Down here. And 
then we want to go down here. I'm going to get jumped on. Oh, you didn't jump on me. That's unusually nice of you. Now, there are a lot of them, so just be careful. And we don't really want to drop down anywhere until we absolutely have to. Um, if I remember rightly, there's like multiple like little causeways and stuff down here that have loot in. Some of them you can access from the outside street, some of them you can't. So if I happen to miss any small items, let me know in the comments, but we should get everything here. So we're going to do that, and then we want to jump over there. And then of course we saw you. But there's more than that, there's one. It's been a while since it's been up here. So grab that. Uh, and I don't think we want to go down that way. So I'm pretty sure we can't jump back up if we go down there, and that is not what we want. We want to go this way. And then we want to go. Is it from these or this? Can't remember. The stuff on the ground isn't so bad. We can access this from the road look, as you can see. So that's not as bad. We want to make sure we grab all the rooftop stuff. I'm gonna longbow you. And there is a bit that's raised. It's that bit. We need to get back over there to drop down. I think. That's what I believe. So hopefully I won't um, fall off getting over here for this bit of loot. It's a long reset if we do. Luckily my jumping's affiliate. I shouldn't have I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm gonna jinx myself now. <laughs> so this. And then I think we wanna to get to where are we? Let's go back towards where we came from. I'm fairly positive there's a raised bit that we do wanna drop off onto. I think it's that bit there with the purple item on. No, that's the lower bit. This is the higher bit. It looks very similar to a place we've already been, because that guy can easily be mistaken to the other dude we saw facing the waxed door previously, but it is actually a different one. So that was what messed me up um, when I was exploring this. It's gonna, it's gonna lightning me if I'm not careful. I'll do. And we can get up here for. But there was some more loot down one of these corners. There we go. And then. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. And then what we want to do then is drop off in this direction. Oh man, I don't want to be cornered with you. <laughs> How about no to that idea? I'd love to backstab you though, that'd be great. <laughs> we got you. It was your own doing. Good sir. You made me have to do this. No. No, no, no. Less of that, please. We could have all been friends, you know. I'm a friendly mage. But a friendly mage. 
Right, so we got that there. That was our Terry Leaves, which I'm quite happy we got. So many. Go away. Uh, hello. Imped Corpse. I can't, what, I can't remember what that gives us. All of the impeds give you little bonuses. Uh, most of them actually aren't bad. Um, in fact, I think... Did we get the int one? No, we didn't. One of the imp heads actually gives you plus five intelligence, which is probably not bad when I think about it. Uh, and that pretty much does us for everything that I want to do here. There is more we can clear that way, but that realistically, you don't really want to go through there until you're ready to leave Lane Dell. It is extra content, so if you feel like you want extra runes, I guess you can kind of justify it. It's not really a problem. Um, we've done most of the road now, though, which is good. And the next way that we want to go is down this way, but it is longer than five minutes. I feel like it's a mega strange to start an episode not at a grace. Mega strange. We need to reset anyway. So we'll 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 fast travel back to Avenue Balcony. That's where we'll start episode two of the Lane Capital area. See you all soon.